Another day, another video that begins with a Christmas tree, a humidifier, the calendar, and some jazz music. I don't care. I'm still a wintertime rebel. The Wacky World of Multimedia J. Roll a vision, roll a vision. I'm over here on Foss Hub waiting for Android x86, the latest 64 bit release, to download. So, yeah, I've kind of been out of the loop on Remix OS, and I found out what happened to Remix OS. Discontinued. Okay, let's go back to the project that inspired Remix OS then and see how Android x86 works on rubbish. Rubbish! Let's boot this thing. Da 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 da. Not only is it rubbish because it's so slow, it's borderline useless nowadays, it doesn't even have USB 3. Oh, come on. I think I just booted Chrome. Oh, saved at the last minute. USB 3, please. Thank you very much. Anyways, okay, which screen is this going to turn up on? Well, this might take a while because it's being forced to run at USB 2 speeds. Cloud ready? Okay, what happened? Epic fear. Let the past die. Kill it if you have to. It's the only way to become what you were meant to be. Or something. Oh my goodness, that is fake. That is so fake. He just did that for clickbait and views. Oh my goodness! Missing OS. <laughs> Reload the thumbstick. Droid. Oh wait, uh, that's different. <laughs> I remember those phones, too. INSTALL TO HARD DISK! But you've never used this OS before! So? <laughs> if that can breathe new life into this horrible piece of crap, then it will... Yeah, something. Please select the partition. Um, er, uh, right. Um, wait, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's probably a good thing that I actually read the rest of the stuff in the box before pushing the button, because this is about to install Android x86 to the USB thingy. Now, oh, don't tell me this is like old school Linux, where you have to key the partitions manually. <sighs> right, uh, da -da 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 -da. hard disk! Do you want a GPT? Yeah, why not? Look at all that. Ah, oh, it is like old school Linux. Uh, gotta do a regular one and swap file and oh brother. Oh for Pete's sake, why can't this be like installing Ubuntu? Alright, so I made one big partition, which isn't showing up. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ah, Linux. You have to manually select right because this may destroy data on your disk. <laughs> Do you want to write yes? Oh, you have to actually type out yes and no. Because this thing wants to absolutely make sure that you want to blow away a completely blanked out disk. Whatever. Please select the file system. Well, um... Uh, let's do ext4 because it's Linux. Da -da -da -da. All data in that partition will lose. <laughs> That's almost like your winner in big rigs over the road racing. This is like old school Linux. Yeah, system read write. Blah, 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 blah. Just get me into the OS. I haven't had to deal with this stuff since Red Hat Five that came with that Linux for Dummies book I had way back in the day. I don't know, but at least I didn't have to specify a main and a swap and blah blah blah. I hope this thing auto splits everything up, but I'm guessing it's not going to. But it, it could also be the case that Android actually does run off of something like this, similar to you know old school Linux, and I'm just seeing stuff that you know if someone was making an image from scratch for a new device, maybe they have to do this, but expect to write 192 blah 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 kilobytes. Yeah, okay. <sighs> this is very much like old school Linux. Ubuntu this ain't. Installed successfully. Well, let's try running it. I didn't install it just to sit here and gawk at it. By the way, the flickering that you were seeing earlier was the keyboard's F keys underneath the silver bullet getting dre- A boot prompt? Oh, man. Okay, this gets an F in my book. 
Epic Fear. Shoo be do be do be do be do be do live CD. That doesn't give us a boot prompt, right? Decompressing Linux, parsing, blah blah blah. Yeah, so this is what it looks like when it's right, except it's super slow because it's running in USB 2. Okay, let's try this again, and then... What? <laughs> Okie dokie. Alright, there's a prompt. But how do we get this to run actual Android? Look, I don't want to be dealing with boot prompts. Even in Linux, you don't have to deal with this anymore. I'm seriously thinking this should become a Linux laptop. Alright, let's destroy all of this and let's do NTFS or something like that, since uh, Android x86 can be written to in NTFS. So let's do delete, default, 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 and let's do write. Why, yes. Or something. What did I just... Okay, let's do Linux file system for now. Much better, but I'm just waiting for someone to be like, uh, well, Android's based on Linux, so technically you're installing Linux, so why are you gonna bother with Kubuntu and stuff like that? Alright, let's get this installed. Oh, and the, oh, that's right, yeah, yeah, I'm a newbie to this. Let's go NTFS this time, format it over, and then let's install, yeah, let's install Grub, and let's install the system directory just for the heck of it. Don't know if I want to come back and do this again later, but for Pete's sake, get off of USB 2! No live CD, no nothing. When this is done, we hit reboot, and then see if it starts, which it probably will, and I'll feel like an idiot, but I've been watching a few YouTube videos just to see what I missed here. This was a blind run, after all. <laughs> okay, no more live CD nonsense. Reboot! Oh, there's a countdown? <laughs> and there's popping speakers. Just like in Linux. <laughs> Pull the stick. Greasy hands don't work well for- ah. Whoops, nope. Come on, this should be good enough as it is. <laughs> well, at least it goes to the boot menu. Restart. Come on, I want to see this laptop actually be useful again. Now, will it boot faster now that it's on- Missing OS! What?! Don't tell me I installed Android x86 on top of the live CD. Epic Let's take the idiot approach and try all default options with regards to things like bootloader and putting the system directory or whatever. Okay, here we go again. Okay, we're done. I'm not gonna bother with this again until after I watch a bunch of videos of people installing this. I'm also thinking of possibly bringing back the simplicity of optical discs as well. So I just have to grab a USB cable and get this thing back in action. Hey, it's my plug-in Blu-ray drive that's had a few too many drinks <laughs> on it over the years. But this thing still works, and it has outlasted every single retail Blu-ray drive that I've ever purchased, even though it's got ring marks from... When did I ever put drinks on top of this thing? I don't know. Sadly, though, due to its old age, the plastic is starting to yellow, even though the metal is still silver. I mean, this thing's from 2010, so, I mean... <laughs> the drive still looks okay, though, but, yeah, yeah this is looking ugly. Ah, yellowing plastic. See how the rubber grommets are doing? Yeah. <laughs> nice stuff. But this thing has outlasted. It's the only BD-ROM drive I've ever owned, because nowadays you pretty much just should just get a burner if you want to have Blu-ray in a computer. But yeah, it's uh, still up and running, still uses a USB D connector in the back, and still randomly loses power. I think I should probably get a newer enclosure for it at some point. But I think that's going to be the way to go. Find a way to do USB CD ROM and get back to the simplicity of optical disks. Because yeah, you know, thumb drives can work for stuff like this, but I need to know for certain that the media that it's being installed off of is read-only, and I think an optical disc would be the best way to go. Plus, I still have some sitting around, because I don't hardly use those things anymore. Okay, it's Kubuntu time. Now we're going to see why I don't like the complexity of installing Android x86. Because Linux has gotten a lot more user-friendly. Now, I would love to take something like this and turn it into, like, my answer to the OUYA or something like that. However, it just, it's not viable 
until something like Android x86 is as user-friendly as today's Linux distros. So I'm going to install Kubuntu here, and it's going to be way less complicated, because, yeah, major, major, major difference between today's Linux distros and what I was just dealing with. That totally looked retro earlier. Okay, looks like it's doing desktop extensions, just like the Chrome thing was. Let's do this. Start the live installer, and it's going to be just a point-and-click thing, like most modern Linux installs are. This is what Android x86 needs to catch up to. There, see? Kubuntu. Simple as that. Didn't have to mess with anything. And that is basically where Android x86 needs to catch up to. Hey, let's log in and look around. As expected, updates galore, even though I checked updates during install or something like that. I'm actually going to keep Kubuntu on this thing for now and uh, see how sluggish it gets as a full-blown Linux operating system. Maybe try a more lightweight Linux or something along those lines. But I'm starting to think that maybe my plan B might actually be better than my plan A for this, because a lot of the times when I'm like, yeah, I want to get more experience poking around in Linux, I don't want to give up one of my possible gaming machines in order to do so. So maybe this laptop that literally can't do anything else might be the best choice for just goofing around in Linux from time to time. So I've got the Kubuntu LTS on here, so long-term service and whatnot. So might as well grab some Linux. Li 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 Linux. I'm not trying to do like the la 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 Linux mother bleep bleep thing again, but let's grab some Linux. <laughs> oh man, Linux experience on a machine that is pretty much useless for everything else. I think that's probably the best use for this thing. Anywho, let's let this thing get its updates. Till next time, this is Multimedia J, signing off. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah.